What is up guys and welcome back to another video and I actually had an in intro intended for this but I'm going to just start it up anyway. Top of the morning to you all. Obviously I am recording this on Friday 17th which is St. Patrick's Day so happy St. Paddy's Day to all of my Irish subscribers or just all of my subscribers in general. I know that um, Adam or Clutch, my thumbnail maker, is from uh, Belfast I believe so he's Irish, he's out celebrating St. Paddy's Day so uh, happy St. Paddy's Day to you Adam and uh, yeah go get go get sloshed, go have a few Guinnesses on me. But yeah we built a, a team today, we're doing a they think it's all over around an Irish player and I really really wanted Robbie Keane but they didn't actually make him one of these special beautiful Irish cards they actually missed him out which I'm very very pissed off at but we went for this man instead we went for Jonathan Walters the legend that he actually is I obviously know a lot more about him because Premier League I you know I know that uh, Robbie Keane did play in the Premier League for a little bit but you know Johnny Waters is the man we want to go for in this team it is a 4-3-3 number two we do start off at the back in a bit of French we do go for in goal we go for the 88 rated Hugo Lloris uh, 87 diving 90 reflexes 87 handling uh, and 82 positioning he's six foot two honestly with this guy I love him and I hate him at the same time because he is so, so good at the game. And then when it comes to saving things and long shots, you know, I just can't deal with him. He's not very good. But, uh, you know, as you saw, first time I've played 57 games with him. So that's why I did chuck him in there. Again, we go French with the centre-backs. Let me set out the parameters just to save myself some time. We go for the inform Julien from Toulouse. And we also go for Colossi Chat transferred to British Munch and Gladbach. And I'm obviously doing this thing again when I don't have contracts on it on anyone whatsoever so we go over Kolodziak 71 pace 79 defending and 84 physical six foot one high medium work rates two star weak foot two star skillers obviously don't expect that much in a center back but he did get himself one goal one assist in seven games which I'm very impressed about I really don't understand this he is on the edge of the box every time I have a corner and that's actually where he got his goal from he did score a bit of a screamer for me so I'm not gonna lie you'll see that in Eclipse at the end and we go for this absolute monster Christopher Julien 65 uh, sorry 75 74 pace 81 defending, 83 physical, 6 foot 5, medium high work rates. What a monster, and he costs just 13.5k. He got himself an upgrade from, um, I believe it was a silver. Let's double check before I start going into it. I believe it was a 73 silver up to a 76, and he got himself an 81 rated inform. Right back, we go for two inform fullbacks. We go for Lukas Piszczek on the right side, and we go for inform Costa on the left. We'll start off with a Xiaomi Costa's inform card. 85 pace, 80 dribbling, 80 defending, 78 passing, and 80 physical. 5 foot 7, medium, medium work rates. Uh, I did intend to buy this guy actually for my weekend league team, but I never qualified, so I just ended up giving up and decided to keep him and ended up you know, putting him in this squad. And obviously at right back, we've got Lukas Piszczek, my pack pulled in form, 81 pace, 78 dribbling, 70 shooting, 80 to passing, and 84 defending, and 84 physical. Six foot tall, medium, medium work rates. Not exactly the quickest, but he's one of my favourite right backs on this game. Anytime I can use him, I'm going to. Got himself two goals with this squad, and they are actually very, both very, very nice finishes. I can't lie, really. CDM, we go for uh, Blas Matweedy, or Blaze Matweedy. Left centre mid, we go for, where is he? We have to scroll down a little bit. We go for, not him, we go for Koke. And on the right side, you saw him there, we go for the lone Roy Keane, the Manchester United legend and Ireland legend. But we'll start off with Blaise Matuidi, 79 pace, 76 dribbling, 83 defending, 78 passing and 84 physical, 5 foot 9, high high work rates, one, uh, one goal, one assist in seven games. Again, bought him for my weekend league team, again, didn't get to use him so I kept him obviously and decided to pop him in here 14.75k cost me so he's quite pricey but for that price I'm happy to pay that and we go for Koke on the left hand side 71 pace 82 dribbling 75 shooting 85 passing and 74 physical 5 foot 10 high high work rates 4 star for 3 star skill moves got himself 2 goals and 4 assists in 7 games probably my favourite player oh no I don't know he played very well that's all I can say is I really really did enjoy using him and 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 this guy, Roy Keane. Before I get into stats, I oh, always press the wrong button. Let's go to Legend Profile. Because he played Man for Manchester United for 480 games. I believe it goes from top to bottom. So he started himself off at Celtic, then went to Cobb Ramblers, 
Then Man United, where he was most known for, and then Nottingham Forest is where he ended his career. Got himself 67 caps and 9 goals for Ireland. 14 years playing for them, so, you know, he was always a beast. Man United captain from, uh, from the mid-90s and 2000s, so, you know, absolutely, absolutely legend. Love this guy. Stats on Viva, 71 pace, 78 dribbling, 71 shooting, 86 defending, 81 passing, and 70 physical. It's 5 foot 11, medium high work rates, 3 star weak foot and 2 star skill moves. Got himself one goal in these seven games and annoyingly he got himself a yellow card i tried my best to go um all seven games end up to end up playing without getting him a yellow card but annoyingly i ended up just getting him just the one which i'm still quite impressed with right wing we go for the uh, normal shakiri and at left wing we go for the upgraded ferrera carrasco 88 pace 87 dribbling 78 shooting 76 passing 5 foot 11 high medium work rates four star weak foot four star skill moves Got himself two goals in the seven games I did play. Honestly, wasn't that it wasn't that included? I was bombing it down the right wing with Jordan Shakiri. 86 pace, 84 dribbling, 77 shooting, 78 passing, and 72 physical. Five foot seven, high medium work rates, three, uh, four star for four star skill moves. Got himself one goal and one assist in the seven games I did end up playing. And um, honestly, the front three was brilliant and then the main man we got out front jonathan walters 68 pace 73 dribbling 73 shooting 69 passing and 85 physical six foot tall high high work rates three star for three star skill moves seven games seven goals one assist quite a good record considering the fact he's only a 75 rated card 68 pace which isn't incredible funny thing is i went and bought out some packs some of those rare electrum packs after i'd done this well after I've done the games, before I've done the intro, and I actually managed to pack him, so I've now got two of him. So I'm probably going to do both of those with the pot of gold. Just let me look at, look at his former clubs. Obviously, he has been around since uh, 2000. He started off his career at Blackburn Rovers, went over to Bolton, had a couple of line spells at Hull, Crew, and Barnsley. Made a transfer over to Hull in 2004. Online at Scumthorpe, then Wrexham, Chester. Ipswich and is currently playing for Stoke City where he has played 220 games since 2010 getting himself 41 goals and on an international level he has played uh, 46 games for Republic of Ireland since 2010 picking up 12 goals so obviously not the most prolific striker in the world but I like him I think he was actually a good card in this game but you yeah, know that's just my opinion but it has been a team guys i hope you have all enjoyed as always some clips at the end of the video of uh, the goals i did score with this team and my links to twitter and instagram will be down in the description below go drop me a follow and i always leave my thumbnail designer adam's link down there on twitter go drop him a follow make some good thumbnails if you are like myself a um starting out youtuber great guy really really uh, do recommend using him but until next time guys i shall see you all next time happy St. Paddy's day bye <laughs>